it's the big day. We are finishing up some last minute preparations and then we're heading out to get the goats. Everyone is bundled up in hats that Nana made. Say hi, good morning. What are you guys working on? Putting the chain on the gate. Very nice. Good morning. You excited, Gracie? Let's go. I can't wait. You excited, Brighton? <laughs> Mommy. All right, honey. Here we are. I know. I'm so excited. Go knock on the door, please, Daddy. She's got them tied out. Hey, yeah. I've actually never met these I things. I know. Hey. How's it going? So this one? Thanks for bringing them out for us. You got them all. No problem. Ready to go. Make it a little bit easier. Yeah. So she's giving us a bag of feed, and we're gonna start by feeding them this, and then we'll mix this with the feed that we have to. Uh, Transition them over so they don't get sick. Come on, this daughter. Okay. You never hurt their bellies. What's going on? No, don't be scared. We're gonna take such good care of you. Jump down here. They're like, but you're putting me in a car. Good girl. Well, congratulations. Thanks. You're the proud there new mama. Look down to the oh, I won't pull. Grace, go in and pull her head gently over. I just don't want to come. Yeah. Are y'all excited to have yeah. goats? Are they happy back there? Yeah. Hey, ladies. All right, ladies. We're going to make a little trip, okay? Stay calm back there. We've got our goats. It's so exciting. Are you excited? I am so excited I can't even contain it. I finally got my Christmas present. It feels really good. Uh, you all are so sweet. Bye boys. Bye boys. Oh. So we're here at the farm store on the way home getting just a little bit of straw. Alrighty, what do you think about our farm truck? <laughs> we have the most efficient farm truck ever created. This is crazy. This is like a third world country transporting people, animals, straw, animal food, and farm supplies in a van. This reminds me of when I was in Guatemala and you jump on the market bus in the morning from the countryside going into town and there would be people stuffed in the bus with chickens and pigs and their babies, everyone eating breakfast all at the same time. It was wild. We'll be home soon. Hey Grandpa, thanks for joining oh, yeah. the big celebration. All right, ladies, come on in. Come on, sweet girls. Welcome home, ladies. Hi, guys. Don't be afraid. We are going to take such good care of you. Look, they're wagging the tail. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe we have a barn with animals in it. <laughs> it even smells so good in here with the hay and the straw. Yeah. 
right out here. They'll have a really nice area. And then in, come spring, they'll have access to all that pasture up there, or maybe sooner. But for now, we've actually blocked off this entrance just while we get them adjusted to being in their new barn. Hi. You may even be wondering where our fence is. We got it in today, and we're gonna set that up here in just a little while. It's a very simple setup because it's an electric fence. One of the reasons we went with the portable electric fence was because we knew the setup would be pretty simple and quick, and we're actually putting in permanent fencing in about two months or three months. We're gonna open up this one bale of hay. I don't really have, I don't have a hay rack built yet, but I do have a plan for what I'm going to do with this hay until we get our hay rack built. The goats are already taking it before I even set it out. Okay, can I have it? Stuff big hand, bigger handfuls in. Well, you can just stuff it all back in there. That'll actually be our hay rack for right now. It's kind of a narrow little hay rack, but they'll pull it out of there, I think, one mouth at a full at a time, hopefully. All right, ladies. Bye bye. We'll see you later. We'll see you soon. We'll come back and check on you soon. All right, ladies. No escaping. See you later. We're about to go inside and eat lunch, but we're checking for eggs. Hey, girls, did you find any eggs? Yeah, four. No way! Four chicken any... eggs. The chickens had completely stopped laying because of the shorter days. But they're starting again. That's so exciting. We got four eggs today. Which ones of you laid those beautiful eggs? Was it you? Thank you, ladies. Beautiful, beautiful eggs. Chickens are incredible. Just two weeks, or about two weeks after the shortest day of the year, the solstice, the chickens, they all know it's time to start laying again. That's just amazing to me. The days are only just a few minutes longer, but they can sense the difference and they know it's time to start. Grace and I were discussing when we think that the goats are going to have their babies. We've been reading a lot about how to tell when a goat is going to have its baby. But being as we're first time goat owners, we're not exactly sure what we're looking for and feeling for. I know, but I just found out. I know. I know now. There's a thing. And if it feels like a pencil, then she's not going to have her baby anytime soon. Okay. If it feels like bubble gum maybe in 48 hours okay and then i think whenever it seems like it's not there anymore they're gonna have their babies in at least 12 hours okay thanks for coming over grandpa yeah. it's nice to have you it's nice to see the goats and the girls and yeah guys bye. bye i hope you'll come when they have their baby yeah i'd like to they're so cute when they're little like that i can't wait as soon as the girls left the goats started calling for them and then when the girls came back they stopped calling for them that is so sweet. Where's Gracie? And then they stop when you come back. Okay, go away again, see what happens. All right, come back. There she is. And they stop. <laughs> Oh, uh, they really like you. They're calling for you. Now we gotta go get you warmed up, sweetheart, and then you can come back out, okay? I can't wait to tell Daddy. Okay, they think I'm Mama Goat. They think I'm Mama Goat. I don't know about that, but they like you. Yummy, huh? You ladies are part of our homestead vision because we're gonna learn how to milk you all. And we're gonna be able to produce some of your food here in brambles and brush and hay and then we're gonna get to drink your milk she's chewing up that 
briar stem. It's a blackberry bramble. She's chewing up the stem. That's pretty tasty, isn't it? Thanks for joining us today. And thank you most of all for your time. That's really the way that you pay us for these videos is by spending time watching them. And I wanted to say thank you because I know your time is valuable. Y'all have a great evening. We look forward to showing you what we're doing in the coming days and look forward especially to the exciting day when these goats have their kids. Thank you.